Mm-hmm. We ain't hanging out. We ain't yeah. gonna be friends. Yeah. We're just not gonna be friends. Mm-hmm. And sometimes because I think I come off very like on the friendly, with, I'm friends mm-hmm. with everybody mm-hmm. type thing. Mm-hmm. I am j- very joyful because of the Lord, but I will not play if yeah. we're not gonna be friends. If you get high, we're not gonna be friends. We're just not. Yeah. Yeah, and I didn't really grow up too much with fairy tale stuff either. But I think you know, as a teenager, young adult, all that kind of stuff, I think you can kind of romanticize what like Hollywood and movies and that kind of thing says about love to where it's like you know this I mean like this fairy tale thing to where it's like oh and then there's never any issues and you guys fit perfect for one another hey thank you so much for tuning in to this is real with yours truly Pastor Juan Martinez aka Dr. Love (laughs) and I'm Stephanie Martinez how are you guys man how you doing girl I'm doing well man you know it's February it's love month Mm, right i know right love month man wow. you see everywhere you go yeah but i mean love month to be honest like it's crazy when you go to the stores you see like the love stuff was there like in december yeah <laughs> that's yeah. kind of wild they don't yeah. even let the commercials <laughs> they're already like you know they've really been like, ready <laughs> oh no totally all you see is the little red hearts mm-hmm. the box of chocolates mm-hmm. the cards all What's of these things special person yeah man everything about feelings and emotions Mm. feelings and emotions and i don't think that when we talk about you know that love that love (laughs) that love yeah Yeah. you know i think uh who was it what was the song i said uh sunday uh mary j blige real love (laughs) you know everybody's looking for that real love Mm -hmm. but you know as a christian we should actually know Mm-hmm. what that love is yeah and so that's kind of what i want to talk about out there hey what before okay before christ i want you to give me an example of like what you thought love was come on like right like you didn't know jesus you were just like boom living life and you're watching commercials and you're seeing the movies what was like one of those movies that you saw that were like love oh that's hard come um, on well i've known christ for a long time yeah <laughs> so don't have much of that but i would say <laughs> I don't know. But I don't think I, you I, were handling love, like, even though you, you didn't Yeah, saying? yeah. Like, um, you knew about Christ, but there was a moment where you knew yes, Christ, right? Yes. So, like, you were still operating in your relationships, not with this love that Jesus I think, says. Um, I think it's kind of like the the movie, you know, what, it, like, the You're rom-com trying to think of, oh, because you don't watch much things. movies. You don't yeah, watch much movies. I no, forgot. I really you fall asleep. That's yeah. the whole, if y'all don't know <laughs> 70, it don't matter. Hey, I've love and everything. I've been staying awake, guys. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, so I you, have been. You have yes. been? Yes. I've only been sleeping for small <laughs> segments of the You're movie. like, what happened there? <laughs> hey, the guy. I'm like, rewind. <laughs> You're like, what do you mean they broke up already? They were about yeah. to get. No, I think, um, yeah, and I didn't really grow up too much with fairy tale stuff either. But I think, you know, as a teenager, young adult, all that kind of stuff, I think you can kind of romanticize what, like, Hollywood and movies and that kind of thing says about love to where it's like, you know this i mean like this fairy tale thing to where it's like oh and then there's never any issues and you guys fit perfect for one another and that <laughs> kind of thing yeah, yeah to yeah. where there's not really like hard work sacrifice like all that kind of stuff that <laughs> falls in with love and like a yeah. selflessness right it's like oh um this person just does like anything and the other everyone's just like perfectly happy i think yeah. that part of well, it well and, it, and it's just sometimes it's portrayed like i don't know it's kind of weird they portray love really weird especially today like i think i saw not long ago just like commercials to movies and they're getting dark like you know yeah. santa is killing people and like all <laughs> kinds of stuff you know it's like what the heck is going on here yeah. and uh i think when i look at when i think about love you know we do a lot of things like love wins mm-hmm. and love fest and everything's like surrounded around love mm-hmm. our envelopes say mm-hmm. we're all about, all about love. love and i always think about um what jesus has done for me mm-hmm. like the but what was it before that? oh yeah yeah, yeah. Mm, that was a good one you yeah. didn't ask me you didn't ask me i just asked <laughs> well, you i thought we were gonna share i thought <laughs> we were then, both gonna hit okay, well, our so, bc thought of yeah love. no totally i mean yeah. i grew up and uh you know all my life mm-hmm. you know everything was like real romantic mm-hmm. and uh you know kenny rogers mm-hmm. and kenny oh, wow. G, all these cats remember those commercials oh, yeah. kenny rogers have like a set right <laughs> 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 yeah. so diana ross like all mm-hmm. these slow jams that were kind of ro- romantic they weren't as sensual as they are today today mm-hmm. like i i don't really know what's out there but Every now and then, I'll try to see what the world is listening to, and it's just not mm-hmm. the same. Yeah, you're, you're right? so bleeding. Those songs were like, 
like, I don't know, maybe I'm showing my age, but they were like, it seemed like five minutes, you know, you were like, you were dancing and you were like sweating mm -hmm. <laughs> with, on the same song, you know? Mm -hmm. And so everything was about uh, romance, right? So yes, everything was how the guy falls in love with the girl. Yeah. And so yeah, that's on the cool, even though like I was like on the side of like street cat and all that, like I was super caught up and like, I loved all the R&B slow jams. Yeah. I loved everything, everything from the romantic side, you know? It was back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You and I also think of, of it, was, it was so. a little bit like exchange, right? Of like, I'm a give, the guy gives all of this to the girl because the girl oh, is no, giving no. all of this to Listen, the guy. Listen, you're talking about that, that key sweat where he watched the day. I'll do your clothes. We used to laugh. <laughs> like, nah, I ain't doing your clothes, but yo, back wow. in the day, hey, look, everything was like, I'm yeah. going to wash your floors and I'm going to do all that, mm -hmm. you know? And so, uh, yeah, it was just very, everything was about emotions mm -hmm. and everything was about feelings. Mm -hmm right and everything was about you know make sure in february they got the flowers and the yeah. candy and then yeah. the rest of the year you don't have to do it mm -hmm. <laughs> you know you just you know it's kind of what we did and so you know uh, meeting jesus kind of just changed all that mm -hmm. even though i think sometimes we confuse like i'm very big on uh keep dating your wife mm -hmm. i'm very big on uh make sure that you you know, bring some romance into that Joker. Like, I, I, I just do. I, I'm big on that. Like, I, I feel like whether you, they, I haven't really met a person that really doesn't like someone else kind of going, yo, you're everything. Mm -hmm. Or women love, you know, you're shouting from the rooftops like, I love you. Like, even though they might be like, stop it. Yeah. But on the, on the cool, they want to feel like they are Declarations everything. of love. <laughs> yeah. yeah they Professing want, your are, love to everyone. Yes. Like, let everybody mm -hmm. know you love me. You yeah. know, like, yeah, I'm your everything. And I feel like it's interesting because when you look at Jesus and you look at love, which is kind of what we're going to talk about mm -hmm. today, First uh, John 4, 7, 8, um, I'm just going to read you this verse. I preached it on Sunday. I just kind of like dialoguing about this stuff because I think sometimes uh, within dialogue, um, you get to ask yourself the question, um, are you in Christ still operate out of emotions and feelings, still operating on that, calling it love? Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. um, so, because uh, I, I think, like, it's crazy, but when you start thinking about maturity and love, mm -hmm. it's not just about the February moments and the date nights, even though those things rekindle yeah. the fire to get you romantic. Mm -hmm. I think we have to think about what love is, right? And in First John 4, 7, 8, it says, Dear friend, let us love one another. And now I'm talking about the body of Christ, but so much. You see it in Ephesians mm -hmm. where he's talking about marriage, but he says, I'm really talking about the body. Yeah. So they, they kind of like one purpose, becoming one, all these things. And here you see, let us love one another because love is from God. So we have to understand first and foremost that love is from God. Now, I'm not talking about phileo, like brotherly love or friend love. I'm talking about genuine agape love mm -hmm. this love that we have as christians uh it says love is from god and everyone who loves has been born of god so uh you know that's how come we have uh i think we have a, a brand within heaven that says reborn to love, to love. Mm -hmm. because i did not truly love until i was reborn right before i was born again mm -hmm. i was straight everything was lust yeah. everything was what is in it for me mm -hmm. <laughs> you yeah, know yeah. think about it yeah uh you're never really thinking about the other person even when you were yeah. like doing all the <laughs> all the stuff yeah. it was really to benefit you mm -hmm. you know you know you know i don't want to get into the whole sex thing but even in that yeah. you know uh, it was more for the benefit of mm -hmm. me Your own right mm -hmm. so here we have it says born of God and knows God. So I think it's important to know so far we're seeing that love is from God and everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. So you can't love without being reborn and you can't love without knowing God because it's in the knowing of who God is. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that word no is gnosko. Mm -hmm. I, every time I say that, I think of the whole Hispanic, yeah. te conozco. Mm -hmm. You know, like I think it's kind of interesting. But uh, gnosko, which actually is uh, to know, right? Not about, but to actually have an experience. Uh, you know, and I think we talked about this uh, at Live at Nine, mm -hmm. where we were talking about 
the difference between you me you know i talk about ruthie a lot and when i go to different conferences yeah. i show the picture and they, everybody's they like they think they know her they're like oh i feel like i know you right yes but they don't really know her mm -hmm. and in this knowing it's uh it's uh me and you you and you know it, there is a level of intimacy it's almost like a physical intimacy but mm -hmm. a, a, a mental spiritual intimacy i know god right like mary says it this way I uh, basically I'm paraphrasing, but how can I have a child if I've never knew no. known a man? Mm -hmm. Yes. So that had to happen. We have to know each other. Mm -hmm. So this know is the same one, knowing God, not just knowing about God, mm -hmm. not just watching some videos on Instagram or regurgitating someone Repeating who with does know. Else. Yeah. Yeah, said. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, um, yeah, and you see that all the time. It's kinda wild. People do it all the time, right? Mm -hmm. They don't really have to know you as long as they're in a picture with you. They know you. You yeah. know, which they don't really know. Well, they hear half of the story. I think you said it. Uh, if they don't really know who you are, when somebody knows you. Yeah, when when you actually know, when someone knows you, sometimes we think, especially now in, like, the social media world. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, YouTube and mm, Yeah, think you know me. Come on, don't <laughs> hand me pull out, you think. <laughs> yeah, uh, you might think you know them, right? Yeah, You're like, yeah. oh, that, you know that person. But then the people who actually know them. Yeah. I, I don't know the word in English, but, like, farandula. Like, uh, oh, yeah. Like, yeah, I don't farandula. Farandula. Like, <laughs> like the gossip and the, the yeah, yeah. those types Chime. of yeah, those types of streams where they're like, oh, this person and this and that. I'm sure that people who actually know the person are thinking, well, that's not them because I know them. Yeah, or, that is them, and they can tell because they have an intimate relationship mm. with the person. And so it's the same like with us. It's like you know, you might hear something about Juan, about Stephanie, or anything yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. But totally. the people who actually know, know are like, you. oh, mm -hmm. that does sound like them because that is something that oh, they would do. Or long. that doesn't sound like them because I know their character and that's not something that they would do. Yeah. Or say, or so get think, to know. or all of yeah. those things. People right? that, uh, you would think if you practice at getting to know God, you would understand mm -hmm. that. Yeah. But since we don't, as a people, mm -hmm. we just say we do. Yeah, that's what I mean. We it's don't really like get we're, to know. We're used to that level of what we think yeah. is known. Shallow. Because of, yeah, because of... I guess where we are, but when you actually spend time knowing someone, yeah, like whether it's relationships, <laughs> whether it's in school, whether it's in church, then you actually can, like without any doubt, you know, stand by who they are, and so yeah. that's how we develop our relationship and a, a deeper relationship with God because yeah, you know that He is love, therefore totally. we are called to love, and totally. when we reflect love and show love to other people, then we're reflecting Him. Mm. You know, I'm gonna. You know what? Let me have some fun before I jump into this Greek you can have word. As much time. As, you want. <laughs> as much fun. No, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, check yeah. it out. So this is what we're gonna do. I want you know. I want you. To, <laughs> you're gonna do it first. <laughs> <laughs> because they need somebody out there. Who? <laughs> look, look. I'm kidding, you, you think you know me? Oh gosh. Okay, can you do that right now? Sure. Because maybe they know For you or me? something. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Oh no. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I guess. Well, because I share a lot of stuff, so it's not really that much mm. that maybe. I can go first while you're thinking. You want me to okay, go first? Okay, yeah. Okay, sure. just to set the record you straight. think you know me. Ooh, just to set. Yeah. I'm like, I come out with a list. I wrote this list this morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, you think you know me. Uh-huh. You think you know me. Mm -hmm. For all my future people that don't know how to do it. You know, yeah, I had yeah. to put the emphasis on mm -hmm. it. Um, you think that, you know, um, because I'm friendly and go lucky and I'm always, yeah. like, laughing and smiling, um, I have a serious side. Like, yeah. I have a serious side where there's some things I do not play with. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, because sometimes, like, oh, you know, you don't hang out with me or you don't do this. Well, I mean, if I see a lot of foolishness, there's a difference between me uh, pouring into you, I'll pour mm -hmm. in my life serving, mm -hmm. um, and me just, hey, we're going to be friends. If you are out there just sleeping with everybody, you're out there, you, you, it don't line up with my values, mm -hmm. we ain't hanging out. We yeah. ain't going to be friends. Yeah, we're just not gonna be friends. Mm -hmm. And sometimes because I think I come off very like on the friendly, w I'm friends mm -hmm. with everybody mm -hmm. type thing. Mm -hmm. I am j very joyful because of the Lord, but I will not play if yeah. we're not gonna be friends. If you get high, we're not gonna be friends. We're just not. Yeah. Because I, I I'm very like I guard my heart and mm -hmm. I'm guarding like my my relationship with God. Yeah. And I know how crazy I am. Yeah. I, I might mess up and be dumb. So I'm gonna try to like. That's good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think everybody's like, because I smile and I come off that way, they automatically think, hey, when are we? Yeah. No, it's not, a when are we. <laughs> it's not <laughs> a when are we. That's my. That's my pal. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, I'm not. Yes, I, yeah. I'm to some. I'm. I'm a shepherd. Mm -hmm. I'm a pastor. That doesn't mean that I gotta hang out with you every day and 
agree with your foolishness. You're going to say, yeah. Now, it doesn't mean that I don't love you and it doesn't mean I won't give you a coat or give you food. We're just not going to be tight like that mm -hmm. because I'm guarding my own life. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a, you That's think you know me. That's funny because I think, you know, when you shared that, I think uh -huh. my, you think you know me would probably be like the opposite of that <laughs> <laughs> because I think people see me and they may see me like in a function or when I'm working or if totally. we're like planning and organizing stuff. And yeah. So they think, you know, I'm very serious or intimidating yes, totally. or all of that, which you got this serious look. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we've gotten better. We have gotten you better. Have, you Stephanie's have. face is a lot better. Hey, she's, she's worked out. She's yeah, developed the yeah, muscles to go yeah. in the opposite direction. Pastor Juan's like, uh, resting face is a smile. <laughs> you know, mine is not. So I have to think two smiles. So you, you think know? you know, can yeah, you show so us you how think, it's, Yeah, you think you know me. You think um, that I'm like super intimidating or like super serious all the time. But, you know, I, I too like to have fun. I too like to joke around and, you know, we you make do. fun of each other all the time at the office. Yeah, and you're always play around making and fun of the guys. And, you know, doing all sorts of stuff and and even in like the other serious note because i do have like the like this is my serious advice so this is where i think you hey know. when you said that you got serious Go yeah ahead. the no, serious joking. advice so this is how like this is what i believe in this topic or this scenario but i also think um i i, I do i guess uh, people may think that I'm always going to have like a piece of advice or a suggestion. Or yeah, you're a walking a encyclopedia. Yeah, you're and I'm like, but I'm I'm actually also very cool with like sitting there and not saying anything. Like, Me too. I don't have to chime in on your, I, I, like I don't have to chime in on mm. your your issues, your trouble, your whatever. Like I'm really yeah. good at listening too. Like if totally. you want it, I, I'm very strongly feel like if you want a piece of advice you'd ask for it if yeah. you didn't ask for it then i'm not gonna you know try to shove it down your throat you good totally you know? that's good so that yeah. takes practice yeah so the word uh and then it goes on to say god's love was revealed among us in this way god sent mm -hmm. his only son into the world so knowing this is how you receive this love right mm -hmm. uh love consists in this not that we loved god because we didn't love god yeah we didn't love god no. we had to receive that love in order for us to love god Yes, and we kind of talked about it, and so maybe you can go a little bit further in that. Yeah. What I was, and this is just like a pause in between where you're going. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, because you have to it's receive a mental it. commercial break. <laughs> yes, you have to receive his love in order to love. And so I guess I have a question for you. Ooh, Why like do questions. you feel that? Right? Because we're agreeing. I just a, kicked back. I felt like I had the sofa. That's a true statement, I like this. right? That. Um, you, in order to receive his love. Yeah, let's read it. And then he ahead. hit me with the question. Yeah. It says, God's love was revealed among us in this way. So he's telling mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. in this way. Because, you know, he is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. It says, God sent his son and only son into the world that we might live through him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love consists in this. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. So my question is, do Ooh. you feel like, before we go into the, you know, yeah. his love through us, do you feel like, because I think this is like a root issue of where we're headed. Sure. Do you feel like some people claim to have received his love, but really haven't? Oh, totally. <laughs> Why do you think they're there? Because you, I feel like most people, first of all, we talked for a while about understanding relationship. Mm-hmm. Now, let me give you an example. I believe that people, um, when you see, you know, I hear this all the time, man, I try to teach people, and you know, uh, you could tell they didn't receive it because they didn't start doing what right. it is that was taught. Yeah, yeah. So the question always goes back to, if they're not receiving it, then did they, because if they can't receive this little piece of advice, did mm -hmm. they actually receive love? If you not know love, then it's hard for you to receive it. That's why you have to understand the cross. Mm -hmm. Um, that he died for me and it's making a conscious decision within my heart. That's why in my heart, I have to see what he's done. Yeah. Right. Literally see that he gave his life for me. Uh, a lot of times we don't think that we're, you know, I'm a good person. I don't, mm -hmm. unless you have like a crazy story. Yeah. But you, we were all destined to hell. We mm -hmm. were greedy, mm -hmm. lustful, mm -hmm. lying, all of that. Everybody, even yeah. the one with good morals yeah. in their thoughts, they wanted to kill people. I truly believe that most people haven't consciously, you know, they went, they repeated the words, they cried, but they haven't really sat with the Lord and actually received that love mm -hmm. that says, hey, I died for you. That's why he says, 
not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent mm -hmm. us his son to be the atoning sacrifice. So this understanding of them giving sacrifices for our sins and saying, hey, you know, Jesus is the last, he is the ultimate sacrifice, right? He is mm -hmm. the lamb that was slain. Mm -hmm. And us really thinking, man, I was destined for hell. Like having that, that, that moment. And I've had to have many of those moments because you think in the beginning that you kind of got it, mm -hmm. but you really don't got it. Mm -hmm. But I was telling, uh, I was with Henry and Liz uh, a couple of days ago. Yeah. And uh, we were talking and th we were reviewing my salvation. Mm -hmm. And my salvation was kind of like acts. So I was saved. I was devoted to the teaching mm -hmm. of the Bible. Mm -hmm. Right? Like instantly. Like mm -hmm. not, like I've grown and developed, yeah. but it was an instant like, ooh. I got to be with the Lord. Yeah. You know, it's too much, maybe. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. maybe not too much, but you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah, I was all yeah, over yeah. the place. I was just like, I want to love excited. the Lord. Yeah. yeah, I was excited. And then I was telling everybody, so evangelism was, like, automatic. Mm -hmm. And um, and sharing and communion. So this communion where I get to remember what he's done for me in my heart mm -hmm. uh, has developed. And, yeah, I don't, think, I don't think most people have done that. I think most people think natural. Yeah, and and the reason I ask that is because I feel like people think they're on the other side of that. Yeah, and then they're struggling and they're having to work so hard to love others or to be patient or to be kind. Totally, and it's like you're you're going against the grain because if you take a moment, like you said, reflect, and then you might realize that man, I haven't really received. truly received his love. Oh, totally. Yeah. So totally. we're gonna keep going. Um, we're gonna take a quick break. You guys stick around. I wanted to talk more. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> See how I yo? Welcome back. <laughs> welcome welcome back. back. Yeah. Hey, you can bring that. Now I'm like, I want to sit back <laughs> and kind of enjoy myself yeah. here. Mm -hmm. But you know, I, I really like what we're talking about. And obviously, we're bringing biblical principles into things. Um, I mean, it's everywhere. Like if people, look, look at this. Second John 1, 6, it says, this is love. So I I don't think he makes, <laughs> look, like when you think like, is there any room for it to be anything else? Yeah. No, yeah. no, there's no room for any other, your, your, your opinion. Yeah. Well, I think this, no, and that's, you know, that's where like learning about, you know, and I know people are like exegesis and eisegesis and they're like, oh, what's so important mm -hmm. about that? And what's so important about hermeneutics and all of these things? Mm -hmm. uh, they're important. The spirit part is important too which we're going to talk about that here in a minute but those things are important because they give you uh, somebody asked me the other day hey, well how do you read scripture yeah and so i was like well taught was this observation uh right mm -hmm. uh what's happening in the mm -hmm. text right so that's why you read 12 13 14 because it was yeah. happening nobody wants to ask what's happening you see the way i did the what's happening what's happening it was, <laughs> yeah what's happening in the text there's uh then there's interpretation what is it saying to me that is one of the parts that I think we jack it up because yeah. we go, we read this and then we give it, <laughs> we give it meaning. Like with God, yeah. this is what it's saying. Try no. to uh, remix everything. Yes. <laughs> and then there's the application. So real simple observation, interpretation, application, right? How do I apply mm -hmm. what I'm interpreting here? Mm -hmm. So let's look at it. He's talking about let us love one another. You know, is what we talked about on Sunday. It says, this is love that we walk according to his commands. So observation, he's giving us a commandment mm -hmm. here. He's, he's not asking uh you know it's not a choice yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. not a, a multiple choice question <laughs> it is a choice this yeah. is where when but you read it's this you command yes you know what I mean? yeah. yes this is where you immediately go to lordship discipleship mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. because if he, he's not your lord then well yeah but i'm saying in the sense of that you have chosen to be a christ follower <laughs> yeah, totally. then it is a, yeah yeah once yeah. you in there yeah this is a command yeah. From your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. <laughs> now, if he's just cool, it's Jesus, not optional. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you, yeah, you know, he's just yeah, my homie. Yeah. Then cool, but I don't have to listen to that command. Here mm -hmm. he's like, this is <laughs> according to his commands. This is the command. So they he, he they say the law of repetition mm -hmm. uh, to his commands. This is a command. <laughs> like he repeats yeah. command twice, as you have heard it from the, from beginning, the beginning that you walk in love. Mm -hmm. Now, we all understand the word love, uh, agape like divine love, mm -hmm. right? There's no other love like that love, right? Now, you know, we could get all into the five loves, you know, storge and uh, phileo. We ain't going to do all that. Yeah. You know, there's eros, the sensuous love, you know, but we we're talking about agape, divine love, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But to love is the word agapo, which means actively doing what the Lord prefers mm -hmm. with him 
by his power and direction. To love for the believer, preferring to live through Christ. And when you live through Christ, that means you're constantly crucifying the flesh and the spirit lives. Yeah, one thing right? you said was embracing God's will. Right? Yes, mm -hmm. uh -huh. choosing his choices and obeying, obeying them through, through what? His power. his power. So this is where he's like, I'm looking for worshipers to worship in spirit and in truth. And, in truth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I think we have, because when we look at love, uh, even in 1 Corinthians 13, he's talking about a love that helps you mature and develop. Yeah. He's talking about divine love right we all say things like um you know we know 13 right we, we all say things like you know uh, it's funny because we'll say things but then our actions are different mm -hmm. right uh, we'll say stuff like and we we get so caught up that's why he's like look in the beginning let me tell you what it says it says if i speak in human or angelic tongues but do not have love mm -hmm. i'm a noisy gong or clanging symbol and, symbol, and sometimes yeah. people look at that scripture and they think like well if i don't love then i shouldn't be talking in tongues that's not what he's saying he's basically saying as a believer you should love mm -hmm. right you should choose god's preferred choice in a matter not what you think but what he thinks mm -hmm. and that's how you develop because it's the you know every time i crucify my way for his way yeah. uh, my life for his life uh my truth for his truth mm -hmm. i develop and mature so you could have a bunch of spiritual gifts mm -hmm. <clears throat> and we are talking love still and i'm going to show you where yeah you could have the spiritual gifts meaning like you know, I love to jump up and down. I like to dance. I like to uh, give. Sometimes I'm in Probably other places. Or, We've been to mm -hmm, other places, mm -hmm. and I operate different. You yeah. know, and I'm like, wish I could just walk around going like, you, come here. Let me yeah. give you a word of knowledge. But it doesn't work like that all yeah. the time, right? But he gives me, because I'm desiring the gifts, mm -hmm. but I'm pursuing love. God's preferred choice. I, um, I do all these gifts, and I think we have all these people, especially today, where it's like so gifts oriented mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. you know everybody's chasing a word everybody wa you know chasing a prophetic word just nobody wants to be discipled mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. with me and 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 listen to all my brothers and sisters that you know prophesy and uh operate you know in the you know there there's a large group of people today in the whole deliverance uh circuit yeah, you know yeah. some of them are my good friends so i'm not saying that what they're doing is wrong what i am saying is we have to be very careful to lean so hard on the giftings that we we desire the gifts but we pursue love that we uh are people that don't have love in another way to say it is jesus said in spirit and in truth mm -hmm. There's my people out there that, you know, the word and true and, and that is good because we need the word and mm -hmm. we need the truth. Right. But you can't have you can have one without the other. You need mm -hmm. do, 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 do. you need spirit and truth. Mm -hmm. That's what he said, because you could be uh, running around loop the loop. And I love loopy. I'm yeah, not yeah. saying, and, I'm, and I mean, what I mean is it looks like, oh, man, it looks exciting. And everybody's like, we're marching around the sanctuary. That's yeah. awesome. We did that. Yeah. That's awesome. But then we got to talk about the truth. You with me? Mm -hmm. Of God's viewpoint on a matter. When you, are choo when you love, you are choosing God's preferred choice in a situation. And, and let, let me tell you. He says, love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy. Love is not boastful. It's not arrogant. It's not rude, it's not self-seeking, it's not irritable, doesn't keep a record of wrongs. Love finds no joy in unrighteousness, right? And anything that is not in right standing with God, but rejoices in truth. It bears all things, it believes all things, it hopes all things, it endures all things. Mm -hmm. Love never ends. And when you read that, you have a choice to be patient, Right? That's what he's saying. God's preferred choice is to be patient. So you're in a situation. I love in another translation it says not easily provoked. Yeah. So he's not saying all these things is because we're not patient. We're not mm -hmm. kind. <laughs> in our in an in an in and in, in of ourselves. Yeah. Or is that act uh, so, that sounded so hard to say, but in and of ourselves. Yeah. In and of ourselves. Mm -hmm. Wow, that was hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um we don't have that mm -hmm. that's why the real evidence of you know an evidence of a disciple one that's learning growing and maturing yeah is love by the way we love not by the way anything else he yeah. doesn't he doesn't make 
like, oh, it's by this, or oh, this guy preaches really good. That doesn't matter. Isn't that wild? Yeah, I, I love that it's um, like we were talking about from the beginning that he commands us to do it. And then all the other spiritual gifts that he's talking about, um, it's a desire. And then in one of the translations, also talked about cultivating it. Right. Mm. So I think it goes to show that, like you said, it's not that anything is um, bad. Yeah. Right. None yeah. of those gifts. None no, of those it's to be desired. Yeah, it's to be desired. And you cultivate them. Right. Because yeah. not all of them will prophesy. Not yeah. all, but you can desire to yeah. do any of those. Um, I feel like it, it shows how much this is like a an effort something that sure. has to be um worked on sure. yet the loving is commanded so that's like hmm. without like, like we were talking about earlier it's without a choice like with it's not an option it's not yeah. a but when or if or but if all of these things but it does say that man are all of them teachers are all of you prophet like maybe you aren't all of those things maybe yeah. you don't currently have all of those gifts yeah. but one thing that you should always because it says it right yeah. in the beginning it says always walk in love all the time and you know it, it gets to a place the reason it's the evidence is because god is love mm -hmm. who has given his son to die for you mm -hmm. when you love it shows that you've received and identify with the death the burial and the resurrection do you understand mm -hmm. that yep. when i am patient let's say y'all who know me um, you know, you see me maybe handle something where I wasn't as patient. Yeah. But I turn around and I'm kind mm -hmm. and I ask for forgiveness. We all know that that is an attribute of Jesus. Mm -hmm. When I sit down and I can be an ear serving you, yeah. depending on your, uh, you know on your mess or whatever, right? I am serving you, right? Mm -hmm. When you see a person being patient. Uh, we all know that those are attributes of Christ. That is love. In other words, I have crucified my flesh. Why? Because he crucified his flesh for me. He gave his life for me. So I am giving my life for him. Mm -hmm. And the, the manifestation or the fruit of that looks like love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness. That's why. It's, and it's one fruit, right? Because I hear all the time, fruits, because it's a lot. Yeah, yeah. But all of it comes from that love mm -hmm. is where you get that. When I start to think, because I'll sit and like check my heart, you know, kind of like when you go to the doctors and yeah. they put like the, sk, 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 you mm -hmm. know, blood pressure. Uh huh. <laughs> right. Instead of saying I'm like, sk, yeah. sk, I'm the sound <laughs> effects guy. I think, look, should we go to a break before I kind of talk about this? Hit us with something and then oh, we'll come something. back. What was I saying right now? <laughs> okay, look. Um, when I, Oh, check. check. When yourself. I go sit and yeah. I say to myself sometimes, like if I missed it, I instantly think, man, God, I am so sorry because I know that you were so patient with me. Mm -hmm. According to even my life, you were so patient with me. How can I not yeah. be so patient with someone else? And sometimes that's a reminder that is life shifting. Because if you remember, sometimes you lose patience with somebody yeah. and you totally forget of how patient he is with you. He can remind you real quick. Real quick. Yeah, stick around. We're going to come back after this quick commercial what break. What is up? Wow, wow, wow. So Welcome we, back, y'all. Well, 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 well. <laughs> yeah, man. I think, I think, you know, to everything we were saying, because you look, I think it was, uh, I forget his name, but it's an emotionally discipleship. Uh, P Peter Skazazzo. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. He uh, says something like, you will never be spiritually mature if you're emotionally immature. immature. Mm -hmm. And I think what it takes when we look at the word love, mm -hmm. right? Because my feelings want me to be impatient yeah. instantly. Like it wants to go there. So as I develop and I am choosing God's preferred choice to love mm -hmm. in the situation when it says, let us love one another yeah. because we're members of one another. It's almost like we would chop ourselves off. It's kind of weird if we're, we're not really thinking body, you know? Yeah. And so this love word is so powerful because um, without it, I will not grow up. I will yeah. stay emotionally a baby. Uh, and But the gifts, b because we judge like, oh, that guy prophesies all the time. So we think, Wow, he's so mature. I right. know cats that can preach the pain off the wall. Mm -hmm. And God uses it in a, in a big way. That sometimes I'm like, mm, the, the, 
you, 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 you have to think like sometimes like I've met them through time, right? Yeah. Where emotionally they're very immature, but they operate out of the gifts in a big way. And again, I believe with God, he's always, all through the scriptures, he's always challenging us to mature. Mm -hmm. He's always challenging us to have a good balance. Like, I love my wife. They say, give me an example. Okay, great. <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Um, <laughs> my love for my wife is made upon a decision to love. And what I mean by that is we had to get, and we're still working on it, y'all, but I think we're a lot further than we were back mm -hmm. in year three, mm -hmm. where we choose based on our commitment to each other rather than to how we feel. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because if, if we only loved each other when we went out to eat and when we went shopping, oof, that's mm -hmm. not going to last. What has us lasting is that we've developed a... I love her. Even yeah. when I'm feeling, come on, y'all, feeling inside like, oh, what yeah. did I do? Why? Mm -hmm. You know, you go through the whole, like, did I make the right choice? Yeah. I don't know. I know none of y'all probably went through this, but <laughs> you start thinking, yeah. shit, I got married, all this mm -hmm. stuff. And then you have to sit back and really evaluate even the things that you're saying. Mm -hmm. Or you will chew on that negatively, on all that negativity, mm -hmm. and wind up staying in your feelings, right? Like, uh, I remember stuff in the world I used to do, like, I ain't going nowhere. Yeah why and then you put that feeling into action and then that's yes the, the seed that you're sowing all day long the truth is i love you and we were going to go there and mm -hmm. this was just a hiccup that we had so i can't mm -hmm. go off of my feeling mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. that is like the perfect example on like I, I don't think i've ever not went somewhere in my 12 years mary ruthie i have the feeling i've even like got in the car and like drive into the place yeah. and be like she's like are you all right i'm like I'm fine. I'll be all right. <laughs> you know, I will be. <laughs> I'll get there. And by the time we get there, we're good. Mm -hmm. uh, we wind up having a conversation. And I, and I use those moments to go, no, I'm upset, but I'm never going to treat you. And women, some women do that to men, right? Mm -hmm. They'll withhold sex. Mm -hmm. That's a big one for women, right? Because they know already the man is going to kill them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just like, you want to kill them? You know, they'll be like, I'm upset. Mm -hmm. And it's like, so only when we're good can we yeah, love. Yeah. Mm -mm. Nah, like you, I love you. This is what he's trying to say to love one another is like, yo, despite how you're feeling, yeah. let's not forget the commitment you have to Christ. In a nutshell, to love. Let's not forget your commitment to Christ. Yeah. Love on that brother, love on that sister. You gonna sing? Yeah, I like 14 when it says, pursue this love with eagerness, make it your goal, yet earnestly desire and cultivate the spiritual gifts Ooh. to be used by believers for the benefit of the church. And so I think it's like our gifts obviously are to edify the church. But when it talks about love, it's talking about pursuing. And yeah. then it, and I like in the Amplified, it talks about uh, make it your goal, right? Yeah. So if you have a goal, you're not going to stop until you reach that goal. And mm. so, like you said, maybe it's maybe you've got the marriage part down of it, but you're not doing that with your your family maybe you've got the family part down but you're not doing it with your church yeah and all of those things so to me yeah. it's like an active thing yeah. that we have to continuously do totally. um to achieve right and so yeah. that and and I, and what you were saying you know like people who can you know paint or paint preach really well and prophesy and all of that i feel like even though these are gifts that we desire. I feel yeah. like at the end of the day, for us to think highly of ourselves because we have a gift that God has given us, sure, um, it's kind of like wild, right? Because God will use anything and anyone, yeah, <laughs> anything and anyone, right? Yeah. And so sometimes, uh, maybe you you are very gifted at yeah. prophesying. Maybe you are really gifted at you know interpretation or or words of knowledge and things like that. But don't ever allow ourselves to think better than the other totally because of a gift that god's really just using us to yeah. edify his church and you, I, you know i think my, that's why a lot of times it says you know we we have the saying at gear up like it starts at home mm -hmm. and it's because i personally feel that what has developed me because the only one that could really get me is my wife yeah i feel like out here doesn't matter what people do even though some people do yeah, yeah. Uh, frustrate me yeah and stuff. affect you and stuff uh-huh I feel like the most effective maybe because <laughs> it's just my wife yeah, cause and my children. Yeah, because it's the person that knows you the most, is yes. closest to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. They know how to say it, what to say, yeah. what to do. And I feel like when I get to choose God's preferred choice in those matters, 
you know, um, man, it just not only helps me, it helps the person, right? Because they're exhibiting fruit, right? This mm -hmm. is how, this is how people will know. It's such a powerful John 13, 34, 35. I give you a new, here, here it goes again. I give you a new command. Yeah. Love one another. Because I'm coming, this is basically where I'm, I think I'm coming from this week, but I'm going to be talking about uh, serving. Uh, just as I have loved you, you have also loved one another. So, just as I have loved you, you have also loved one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples. Mm-hmm if you love one another. So, by us choosing God's preferred choice, uh, first of all, you can look at disciples, by being people who are learning, growing, and maturing, right? Yep. In our love for one another, by this, everyone will know that you're learning, growing, and maturing, mm -hmm. if you choose my preferred choice with one another, mm -hmm. to be patient with one another, to be kind with one another, and it's wild because people will, I see it on, I see it on social media all the time. Like people just raw, you know, this and uh, this person's that and this person's this. And then they get in the comments and everybody's fighting, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, ain't nobody choosing God's preferred choice. And we're like, well, he's saying all these things. Listen, most of the time, those people that are like that in Jesus' name are really not coming in Jesus' name, yeah. first of all. You just have to see how they're coming. It says it. They're, they're sometimes if they are brothers and they're doing that, either they're immature. Right. It is what it is. Either they're immature or they are operating out of deception where they have been deceived or they're just bringing division to the body. And that is like a big no, no for the Lord. Yeah. And I think as you learn and, and get to know him more, I think whichever one you are in those different scenarios that uh, Pastor just explained, mm -hmm. I feel like. Um, you know, having the Holy Spirit reside within you and allowing, okay, like allowing him to filter your mm -hmm. thoughts and your actions on it. Cause it's like, okay, mm -hmm. if I am being the one who is, you know, attacking on Facebook or comments or, totally. you know, or any social doing media. all of this or mm -hmm. in person, right? Okay. Like reveal to me why I'm acting this way. Reveal to me where I need to grow. Reveal to me all of that. And if you see someone who's behaving that way, then you also have the Holy Spirit was mm -hmm. residing within you that you can ask him and be like, okay, like how can I address this person? How can I show love to this person to help build them up so they aren't, so they are no longer in that immaturity, yeah. right? And yeah. then allow him to lead you to the right way, yeah. I feel, right? Because yeah, totally. We, I think we don't, we don't filter our actions, our thoughts, our feelings, and our words through the Holy Spirit enough. And then that's whenever Ooh. you end up being in, you were talking about it earlier um, with mm -hmm. Marco to where it's like the person who is constantly impatient and then just apologizes after. It's like, yeah. how many more times are you going to apologize? Well, that's manipulation at that moment, right? That's manipulative right? Yeah. Uh, behavior. Yeah. But I'm saying like, if it's us who are, who are doing that, yeah. Uh, you know, let it be shown yeah. and then I did act it most accordingly. Of my life. <laughs> I did it most of my life, right? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But yeah. there was no actual change. Mm -hmm. There was no actual growth. Mm -hmm. It takes the spirit to bring the truth alive, yeah. right? So you need the spirit, but you also need the truth. They work together, mm -hmm. right? I, I was sharing with somebody the other day and I just thought it was interesting because I think we say a lot of things like take the thought captive, bring it down, run it through yeah. the beast of Christ. I don't think, I don't think we do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't think we do that. Yeah. I think I think we just know the verse. You know, the the important part of um, developing is so that you could explain the truth that's working in and through your life. Yeah, you understand? It's kind of like I I use the the dieting thing, right? If you ain't dieting, you just can be like, yo, you got to get on the diet. But it's different for the person that is literally working that mm -hmm, out in mm -hmm. their life, right? They know six cups of blueberries. There's evidence, yeah. Yeah, yeah there's evidence because you see the, the transformation, the body, mm -hmm. and then they can explain how they got to that body. Yeah. I think we got a lot of people in spirit, no truth, a lot in truth without the spirit. And what's yeah. wind up happening is that it, without that, um, the like I said, without the spirit, the truth doesn't come alive. You need this. The spirit leads you into all truth. Mm -hmm. Right. So a person should see and they should know God by the way you love. Right. Mm -hmm. By the way you are choosing God's preferred choice. And for that, 
man, you got to crucify that flesh. Yeah. You have to have accepted consciously that Jesus Christ lived a life you couldn't live, died the death you couldn't die. You should have died. Mm -hmm. And basically resurrected, um, making him the son of God and for the forgiveness of your sins. And I think, uh, you know, and I always say this now more than ever, I'm like, I'm starting to see that because I just taught on the blessed are the peacemakers. Yeah. And uh, the whole Beatitudes. And first time I ever went line by line, right? Mm -hmm. And so it's interesting that I would find myself, and it's weird because it just hit me. Yeah. Even though I've been, since you've known me, I'm mm -hmm. like, everybody, let's sit down. <laughs> let's bring Jesus into this situation. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes I would be like, man, maybe I don't, you know, I don't sh shouldn't do that, but I'm compelled to do yeah. that, right? So much. And um, the wild part, is that it says, blessed are the peacemakers, for they are children of God. So I'm not trying to keep the peace on my own strength, right? When mm -hmm. I, when I, and it's the same thing as exhibiting love. I'm telling you, it's the same exact thing because I have received, I was at war with God and I've received his son, Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. who made peace. I was an enemy of God and made peace. I can't help it. I just caught here recently out of all these years, like, oh my God, this is why I'm like that. Yeah. I'm not trying because I read the verse and then I'm trying. Mm -hmm. I have received something that right, right. when I see somebody in chaos, I'm like, we got to bring, we got to make peace. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. And I've always wondered, like, why am I always like that? You know, because I was the guy who brought chaos. Yeah. Yeah. It's not because I read the verse and I'm trying. It's because I have received internally mm -hmm, in mm -hmm. my heart. I know that he's made peace when I was an enemy. And how can I not reproduce that? I guess my eyes are like, oh, these people are like fighting. Mm -hmm. Let's make peace. It's Let's a figure out what's in your right. life already. Yes. It's proven itself. Yes. To and be that's true. why he says it's your sons. You got to catch this, y'all. It's more about becoming and being mm -hmm. than one it is doing. than it is. Yes. The doing is a benefactor of I make the peace because of who you are. Yes. Who you be. Who you, who you be. <laughs> That's yep. that's good stuff. That's yeah. good stuff. I, I I enjoyed the topic today. Obviously, um, keep us in prayer. We might have a few weeks where we might have some replays or something because we are uh, about to do redo. Not redo. Yeah, redo the show. Remodel. Yeah, a little bit of everything. Yeah, everything. We have a little bit of everything. But we might remodel soon. So Just stay up to date with that. Yep. Uh, keep the letters coming. Uh, we got a lot of letters. I love that I've been visiting some of the prisons here lately. Mm -hmm. And they're mm -hmm. all like, yo, we listen to the show. So that's really cool. Let us know where you're listening from. We love you. And today, you know, close your eyes. Make a constant decision that to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. Know that love so you can reproduce that love. Amen. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in to This Is Real. Be sure to watch us on YouTube at This Is Real with Juan Martinez. And if you're looking for a home church, you can visit us at www.getwrapped.tv for all of the information, location, and service times. Or you can write us at P.O. Box 671-626, Houston, Texas, 77267. And we want to thank all of our partners for making this show possible by showing love and support. And if you'd like to partner with us, you can do that by visiting JuanMartinez.tv. And finally, we're going to end the show with the heavy hitter of the week. And this week's heavy hitter is the song No Longer Bound by Forrest Frank and Holvey. So Holby. stick around, stay tuned, and as always, that's, that's a wrap. wrap. <laughs> oh, wow, there was no sound effects today. <laughs> Juan Martinez from This Is Real. And I'm Stephanie Rave, and we're so glad you joined us. If you enjoyed the show, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and turn on your notification bell so you get notified every single time we have a new episode. And don't forget, in Houston, Texas, on 100.7 FM, every single Saturday night, we're on the airwaves from 6.30 to 7.30, man, with real people, real problems, real solutions. The show is rocking. Amen. But not only that, not only is the show rocking, we're also reaching 53 cities 51 state and county jails and prisons and what we're doing is we're bringing the word to them we're bringing them some laughter fire. and some good times and some fire Amen. and so uh for that we need some partners so if you want to partner with us please click on the link below and don't forget to follow us on social media hashtag this is real or on any other platforms pastor juan martinez hey that's a wrap peace